Now, Smerit has been treating infections and it keeps coming back. I've been treating um, gonorrhea and it keeps coming back. I've been treating staphylococcus, it keeps coming back. I've been treating urinary tract infection, which can be kidney, pyelonephritis, um, cystitis, it keeps coming back. I've been treating staphylococcus aureus, but it keeps coming back. Why? You see that these drugs are not working. Please listen attentively. This will be a very long video. I'm going to tell you why these infections are coming back and the right way to treat your infection. My name is Nosmeris. I'm a nephrology nurse. Basically, kidney dialysis, everything about kidney is my specialty. So drop your questions in the comment section if you have one. Number one reason why these things are coming back is because of this one, antibiotic resistance. Yes, most of you are sick. When you're sick, all you need to do, all you do is to go to the pharmacy or chemists and then they give you antibiotics without knowing the microorganism that is causing that infection. And then some of you are now taking just painkillers with, you know, so when they give you these antibiotics with painkillers, after like one week, you are okay. You relax. The infection comes back and multiplies times five. And then when you take another antibiotic, it doesn't work. And before you know it, antibiotics no longer work on you. All you do is you come online and you chat on these online doctors, um, nurses and doctors like me. And then they prescribe for you. Please stop that. That is number one. When you are sick, you go, okay. So that the video will not be long. That's number one. I'll tell you how to treat infection on the next video. Number two, when you're treating yourself, you don't treat your partner. Please, this happens to especially women. You're treating yourself. You don't want your partner to know that you have infection. You're not doing good for yourself. Your partner, after treating that infection, your partner will still give it to you back. Because as you have that infection, your partner have the infection too. So please, as you're treating yourself, make sure you treat your partner. Number three, when you're treating yourself, you're still having sexual intercourse. You are fooling who is fooling who. You're treating infection and you're still having sex. It will not go. Please, when you're treating infection, stay away from sexual intercourse until you're done with the cause of infection. And then you treat your partner. The next fourth point is this. After treating infection, whatever kind of infection it is, you are finished your drug that the doctor prescribed for you. What you need to do is go back to the clinic to the hospital or to the place you did the test let them rerun the test again even if you feel okay don't resume sexual activities rerun that test until they say that microorganisms that they saw for instance if they if they if they saw um candida species okay and they say it's no longer there or they saw any kind of you know gonorrhea or whatever they say the thing is no longer there if they come back and say it is plus one or it's still there repeat the treatment until it is clear when you are now clear you can now resume your sexual life meanwhile the same thing happens to your partner and then stay safe stop jumping from one people to the other illness is too much oh you are exposing yourself stay chaste there is reward for that please now the way to treat infection that is the next thing i'm going to be telling you and of course there are some certain things you need to be doing when you are finished treating infection so that it doesn't be your call okay so now let's get to it when you have an infection go to the doctor okay if you don't have money you can go to the pharmacy um to the laboratory but preferably go to the doctor when the doctor has seen you he will send you to the lab when you finish the lab with the results or you are you gone to the lab with the result the lab will write antibiotics that is not resistant to that if that is uh, not resistant to that infection that you have with the antibiotics you take that antibiotics the exact way it has been written after taking the antibiotic you give your partner you still you and your partner will go to the hospital to treat yourselves okay to find out the kind because you may have different infection but the two of them you know almost the same thing so after treating yourself when you're treating yourself like i said earlier don't engage in sexual intercourse after treating yourself you still go back and check if the infection is still there a little bit no matter how little repeat the treatment until the infection is cleared from your system then you can resume your sexual activities okay now however if you're a woman or you, you need to one number one please increase 
your vitamin C intake. Start taking vitamin C. If you can't, if you can't take take a lot of fruits and vegetables, reduce the way you take sugar. Sugar increases the way you have infection down there. Okay, so take vitamin C. You can take vitamin C supplement. It will help you. Okay, take a lot of fruit and vegetables. It will help you. Walk out. Do exercise. Those your panties. Throw them out or you can sterilize them, sanitize them by using um, antiseptic to wash and using iron to sun dry them. Okay. So if you're doing all these things and if you're cleaning your vagina, don't clean from front to back. Clean from, don't clean from back to front. Clean from front to back so that you don't put infections, you know, microorganisms inside your vagina. These things will help you a lot. Okay. Please. And practice safe sex. Do not always do without condom please practice safe sex reduce the way you do sex because that is the only way you can be getting your current infections okay this will help you a lot so basically these are the things that will help you and then take zinc supplements zinc is very good 50 milligram once a day it will help you in, in build your immunity because your immunity is low that's why you're having your current infection so stop taking different kind of antibiotics you're endangering yourself i hope this video have helped you like share and then um subscribe for more okay bye